Hi everybody, it's Mariah. And Raven. And this is another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Hi guys, it's Vera Moan, just here to remind you to get your tickets for this year's DragCon, May 11th, 12th, and 13th at RuPaul'sDragCon.com. Mm. See you there. We are gonna be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of You put a hamburger in here. Oh. I feel like Hamburger Mary. A plate of hamburger. A plate of hamburger, because Mariah is very fancy. She doesn't eat hamburger, she eats a plate of hamburger. A plate of hamburger. So this is episode three of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars oh season my God. three. Already? I know. On season three. Can you believe it? It's wigs on wigs, wigs on, on wigs. wigs. <laughs> on wigs on wigs on wigs on wigs on wigs. They're gonna reveal, reveal one wig look to another. One or more. One or more. So they, they could bitch, they could do get 10. Real adventurous bitch and see what they can do. So first up is Ben de la Creme. And her first look. Yes. It's nice, it's easy breezy, it's simple. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Into beautiful. I like that skirt. That's yes. been made out of hair. Yeah. So the dress turned into hair. And okay. then she pulled the big, you know, the Ben hair. The textured Ben de la Creme hair. Into a ponytail, bitch. I like this. She better do it. And I love that the hair on the skirt is kind of like ombre. It's, it's a few different colors. It's not just black it hair. It actually on a black looks skirt. right. It looks fat. It looks fashionable. Yeah. I like this a lot. Toot. Toot. All right, Ben. She's pulling out all the stops. Oh, our next queen is winner of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race. Bibi Zahara Bunny. Cameroon. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Elegant. It's very elegant. There's a difference between appreciation and appropriation. Okay. I think this is definitely in the spirit of appreciation. You're allowed to say that. Yes. I'm yes. not. <laughs> She's gorgeous. And I'm sure she did her homework. She's not just going out there and some. Or being disrespectful yeah. or rude. Yeah. She's I giving love you. Face, face, face. Her face that launched 12 paint. seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. I haven't even seen the transformation. I love this already. Well, let's look at it. Let's catch it. Yes, bitch. She went from a beautiful geisha into like this like Kill Bill warrior superhero princess. This is giving me 1960s poolside sports like uh, swimwear. I love it. I could see uh, a pageant girl walking down for swimwear in this. It wouldn't be cut a little higher? It would be, it would be cut a little higher. Okay. But the overall effect, I think, would be very sickening on the runway. Yeah, too. I live, too. I All love right, it. BB. The girls are not playing this season. All right, next up. Miss Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel. Feel, feeling all her flower power. Psychedelic. She's loving these high cut blouses. Bring it she, all the way up. Take it up. Take it up. with the skin today. So she has two reveals. So she's playing games today. Uh huh. So this is her first reveal. Ooh. Ooh. So it's not really a hair reveal. No. It's just oh, let me take off calf tan and take off the sunglasses. And Cute. then okay. Oh, okay. Ew. There we go. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I love short hair. I love a short wig. Yeah. This. No. 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 Not for you, girl. Yeah. This for you. It's it's a hair reveal, but it's like, girl, it's not inventive. Right? This is probably the easiest and lazy hair reveal I've I've seen. I haven't even. This gone is something I would else. do. Oh, this is something I would do. Yeah. I would just be for like, okay, girl, and yeah. Nikki's. Here we go. I love this dress, though. I yeah. love this dress. I loved all the dresses, all the patterns. They were lovely. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have seen the caftan belted, though. But well, she was holding it like. Oh this. well, I mean. She's still got to walk. She's not walking around like that. You never know. I'm gonna give it a toot, even though this, I, like I don't, this, it looks so, this looks weird. Does it not look weird? I'll give it a toot. It's funny. Next up, Milk. Milk, oh God, this is giving me Thorgy Thor hair. Like this is huge. I, it, I almost thought, oh, is that Thorgy? And I forgot, no, she went home last week. This is huge hair. I love the color. Yeah. I love the dress. And she's in heels again, like actual heels. Oh, that's right, because she always wears stacks. Yeah. Yes, okay. Well, let's look and see what she reveals. 
This is a stingy I, ponytail. <laughs> this is real. It's like she used half the wig to wrap around the base. The thing with this, though, is the way the ponytail was presented. Because it was all shoved inside there. Yeah. So when she pulled the wig off, she like she looked like one of those dolls from like the 80s where it's Where they, you have to hair. crank it and it uh -huh. <laughs> So that's what she turned into. Not bad. It just, I think that she should have gone like maybe some of the other queens did where they revealed, like took the dress off. Like she should have gone into a bathing suit with that. Yeah. And it's she has the body to wear it. I'll have to boot this. It's a boot. Yeah. Aja. She is in this latex. Aja is letting me have she everything. Looks Beautiful. This is inventive, it's creative, it's a rich, I haven't seen it on the show yet. Like, she is really reaching and going above and beyond. How far above and beyond? Well. As far as your tentacle? Well, <laughs> as far as your little claspies? Aja is giving me really anime and she's committed to it. Okay. It's a hair reveal. So. A, dra a dramatic hair reveal at that. I'm, uh, like, of course, I, I would have loved a costume change, but it's about the hair. The hair. But when everyone else has been doing it, I love the costume, though, too. Costume is signaling, and you can't just switch out of latex like that. Like, at least she put in the effort and the investment on a nasty costume that would work for both hair. Two. Two. Next up, Kennedy Davenport's. First up, Kennedy in a beautiful gold and citrine gown, completely rhinestone, very padge. You know, she loves the padge life. But this is sex, too, because this right here is, yeah. I, I don't see sex. You don't see sex? But no, girl, this is not sex. This, well, is, this is beauty. If I was wearing glamour. it, it'd be sex. Well, everything you wear is sex. Because I always take it off. Uh -huh. She takes off this huge, curly, beautiful, afro-y, um, Foxy Brown inspired, love it. And she goes into Carol Brady. <gasps> no. Yes, she goes into a Carol Brady. And then she goes from Carol Brady into Nene Leakes. Oh, okay. So she went from Foxy Brown to Carol Brady to Nene Leakes. Okay. As much as it's kind of like what Trixie did, where it was just like <laughs> literally a wig on top of a wig on top of a wig. Like some others were a little more inventive. I think this gown's beautiful. I think she looks beautiful. You know, I love me a little short pussycat wig, so too. On the flip side of, of Trixie's, the, the, this blonde short do really fits uh, Miss Kennedy. I love this. And, and it the gown fits beautifully. Yes. I'm glad she did take off that I'm glad you didn't Brady. stop there. <laughs> yeah, glad you didn't stop there, girl. Otherwise, it was, you was close. I was like, honey, I'm on the edge of booting. But girl, you redeemed yourself with the last look. Love that, that's beautiful. All right, it's a two, girl. Next up, Chi Chi Devane. I love this dress. That's beautiful. And you know, this is a lot sexier for her because normally she's doing more of like the dance, like the dancer costume, like the majorette kind of vibe. Um, this is gorge. Oh, look. Okay. So she, now she went from Foxy Brown or Foxy Cleopatra uh -huh. to Naomi, Naomi Campbell. Campbell. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, you know, I'm gonna try that one time. You should. Just shove a long wig up under a big old wig. I like the fact that it's clean, it's long, it looks like it was thought out because it doesn't look tangled and it's easy for that wig to be revealed and be like a tangled mess. Yes. Reminiscent of Milk's ponytail. Uh-huh. But this, she, she thought about the hair, she thought about how it was cut and how it would fall. And that takes practice. It was moisturized. It was moisturized. She put some sheen. She put some silicone based sheen. I love the jewelry, but I don't like jewelry in the nose that hangs over your lips. It, I yeah, don't like that. That was a little kind of like bull. It's too much. The proportions were wrong on the on the nose jewelry. I think it's a pretty dress. The the the, the pattern of the fabric is great. I love a cutout. It's kind of like it's a two that's like. It's a toot. Yeah, like, it's, it's a toot. It's a toot. Not, a, not an enthusiastic toot, but it's a toot. It's a toot. We'll All give right. it a toot. Our next queen up is Miss Shangela Laquifa Watley. The queen of corn. The queen corn. Remember in episode one of season two when she just had that corn brooch? <laughs> like spray painted silver. And no, that was for your season. Oh. Season two, episode one, she just got a piece of corn, glued it onto uh, it. He's a cord and said, okay, here's a bracelet, bitch. That, oh, that was when it was the horn of plenty corn straight from the... The maze. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she put the maze in her wall. Here she is at dressed as corn. 
dress. You know, I've seen this. I love her hair. Her hair, that is some, that is some Bronner Brothers hair show oh, hair. Oh, bitch. Oh. She, she I literally. love it. I love it. This is so extreme. It's creative, it's innovative, it's well thought out, and both of her looks are tight. This second one is giving me um, some share. Mm -hmm. Like some corny share. <laughs> it's very corny. <laughs> I love that this, like, the, the corn is popped. It's, it's all in popping. her hair. <laughs> I love that the dress She's on fire. mirrors like a corn husk. A ear of corn. Yeah, it, this is great. I love it. Toot. Love Toot. it. Toot. And that body is so right. Bitch. Trend, Trend alert! Foam. <laughs> Costumes and foam and long hair. Oh my. Oh my. Wigs on wigs on wigs. <laughs> hats on hats. Hats on hats. You don't want to see what's under here. Our, Our top, top two of the week is Shangela Laquifa Wadley. In the corn. In the corn. Field of corn. Shangela in the corn. You build it, they will come. That's field in of corn. In your eye. Oh. oh. But it was still a field of corn. Well, in the spirit of Roxy Andrews, we would not be good sports if we didn't do a hair reveal. Oh my goodness, you fit all that under there, boo? Yeah, girl, I'm a master of tucking things away. Oh. <laughs> you match my dress. Oh, you can borrow it. I feel like Trixie Mattel. Yeah, oh, do you? Oh. Well, they, actually, she would have preferred to wear that one. Well, you would have preferred her wear this one. Yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> mm. Well, thank you guys for joining us for another installment of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Tune in to VH1 Thursdays at 8 p.m. for an all-new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star. Three! For all of you international children of the world that do not live in the United States of America and you are fiending for RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 3. You can click in the description below and get all the details you need to subscribe to WOW Presents Plus and see if it's available in your country. Wigs on wigs on wigs. On wigs, on wigs, on wigs, on wigs, on wigs.